In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to open an account with DigitalOcean, an internet hosting provider. I will also show you how to set up a virtual private server, VPS for short, and get the first two months for free. In plain English, what is a VPS and what are the benefits? VPS is short for virtual private server. Internet hosting companies offering VPS are renting you space on the internet and providing you with a choice of operating systems to install, such as Linux or Windows. With your own operating platform, you have the freedom to build your websites without restrictions. You have as much control and flexibility as you have with your own personal computer. The difference being is that it's on the internet. Your server is also scalable, which means you can increase the size of your server when necessary. Before I continue with this tutorial, I would like to point out that I am no programming wizard or website guru. Everything I'm showing you is self-taught and the results of online research. Knowledge I've gained doing exactly what you're doing now by watching this tutorial. To get instant results, press my DigitalOcean link below and follow my instructions carefully. Okay, we're here on a DigitalOcean site. Okay, and uh, okay, you can create an account by putting your information here. But I'm going to press the button here at the top. Okay, so we're going to press sign up. Okay, and you enter your email address. and then you enter a password and press sign up okay and if you like you can um, save your uh, password by pressing yes so um, I'm going to press this button here get started okay and we have to um, confirm your email address so if I go on the next tab you can see that I've got an email from uh, DigitalOcean so I'll open that up okay and when I press on that okay on the shortcuts as you can see um, on top here it says your mail has been confirmed so uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to manage payments um, before you, you're able to create your server, you'll have to first enter your debit credit card details. Or if you have an existing account, let's press that first, okay? Um, or if you have an existing PayPal account, you can actually uh, pay from here instantly, okay? And if you have a promotional code, which you might find on the internet, you can enter the promotion code here. I haven't actually entered a promotional code, but if you are interested to get two months free, please have a look at my links below this video, where I've listed a list of sites which will enable you to get coupons to get your two months for free. Once you get your coupons, you have to enter it in this box here. Okay, so I'm going to put in my details and then I'll pause the video and come back. So I've been brought straight to this page after submitting my billing information. And if you look at the billing tab, the status now is complete. Can you see that? Um, now we're ready to create our first server by creating a droplet. Basically, DigitalOcean uses the term droplet um, as a, an, an online space in which you can create your server. So I'll press this um, button here to start creating my droplet. Okay, here is where we set up our server. First, we have to enter a name for our server. You can call it anything you like. I'm going to call mine Power. Okay, so Power, like that. Okay, uh, the next section allows you <clears throat> to choose the size of your server. Uh, the first one's already selected and I believe it's good enough for our purposes. Uh, the price is £5 per month. Sorry, not £5, $5 per month. 
and the specs are very good compared to other companies. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is like that. The next section is uh, you, now you can select a region. This is not so important. Um, so again, I'll leave it as it is. New York, New York 2, which is selected by default. The next section, you will select an image. Um, uh, this is choosing the operating system for your server. I've tried all the servers, all the different types of operating systems, and I personally prefer Debian. Right, so I'll choose Debian and also choose the latest version, which is Debian 7. Okay, and press Create Droplet. There you go. Now it's it says it's taking 57 seconds, 47 seconds remaining. It's pretty fast. And before you know it, we have our first server. Six seconds remaining. Okay, it's very fast. Okay, three seconds remaining. They claim it takes 55 seconds to create the server. There you go. Now it's created. The server is called Power and you have console access. Okay, and um, it's active. The power is on. Okay. Okay, at this point you'll have to add a domain name. Uh, so if you haven't already, please see my tutorial on how to create an account with GoDaddy uh, to purchase your own domains. Um, okay, uh, so first I'll press this button here, DNS. At the top you'll see, at the top here you'll see um, a blue button add domain so I'll press that okay <clears throat> um, our server is already created with every, and with every DigitalOcean server you you're provided with a free IP address okay that's that number there okay which is an address unique to your server I'll be adding uh, two domain names newbiemedia.com and puli.net I purchased these domains from GoDaddy and configured them to point to DigitalOcean. Once again, for further information on how to do that, please see my tutorial on creating a GoDaddy account. Right, you first have to uh, enter your domain name in this box at the top. Okay, then you'll have to choose which server will belong to. So let's uh, first of all, I'll put my domain name. Okay, and I will choose, see this drop box here. I'll choose power, which is our server that we created earlier. Okay, and then you press create domain. Okay. Okay, the uh, domain was created, as it says here. Domain was successfully created. Um, I'll let me just close this here. Okay, and we're gonna <clears throat> add our next um, domain name. So I'll go back to this button here, DNS. Add domain, and we'll do the same again. So we're going to go here. I want to add new media.com. And once again, we're going to select power, which is our server. Okay, let me just check that newmedia.com and then create domain. Okay, so now we have, if I go to DNS, we have two domains newbiemedia.com and puli.net 
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, please leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel.